Welcome back, true believers. This is Rektar, and today I'm playing some more Tokyo Jungle Survival. And today I've chosen a rather interesting animal. That is right. I am the little baby chick, and you might be asking yourself, Rektar, why in the name of all that is fuck are you playing as the little baby chick? And the answer is, I do have an answer to this question. I'm like waving my finger around as though people can see it. Um, the reason I've decided to play as the chick is because I feel like I've gotten better at this game. And the last time I played as the chick, I didn't give it a really good chance because, you know, I wasn't able to skillfully maneuver it around the world. And, you know, get my business done. So I figure, now that I am much better at this game, or, I mean, I'm not amazing at the game, but I'm better than I was. And I figure that now that I'm better at the game, I should be able to rock and roll -a as the chick. And so here's my sweet strategy, by the way, for the chick, is what I'm going to do right here. Well, first I need to mark four times, so I'm going to wait for this. Yep, there we go. So cool. Um... As the chick, I'm going to every time. Where? Oh, it's in the. Sh it's in Shibuya Woods. What a shitty place for that to be. I guess I'll head that way. Well, how much food is in Daganzaka? Daganza. Really, really, there's no food in Daganzaka, huh? Well, I might as well, dude. It'll be faster, seriously, for me to mark the four times here. And then, um, like legitimately, totally legit, I think it'll be faster for me to mark four times here, and then go back to Daganzaka as the chick after I sleep, or as the chicken after I sleep, because the chicken is just so much faster than the chick that I think it actually makes that big of a difference. But yeah, anyways, I'm playing as the chick today, because I, I feel like before I didn't make it very far as the chick, like I barely made it far enough to unlock the next animal, and I'm like, dude, I'm I'm Rakdar. I can do better than that. I need to give the little adorable chick another chance, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm giving little adorable chick another chance, and I'm gonna rock and roll this time. And of course, I mean, it's not always a little chick. It becomes an adult chicken after you sleep, which I do think, you know, becoming an adult chicken probably takes a little more time than that, but oh well. Anyways, like I said, my strat is going to be to become boss rank before I even grow up, just because... See, dude, oh, and that's what I love about these animals, is that you can kind of do the little tricky method to get to boss rank. Well, it's not... It's not tricky, per se. Like, you know what I mean? Because what you do is... I explained it when I was the tiger cub. You become a boss rank while you are the smaller version of the animal. And then, when you become the bigger version of the animal, um, you're still boss rank, even though it would have taken more calories to become boss rank. So, I don't know. Personally, I think it's a pretty sweet strat in terms of, uh, like, ranking up and shit. Hopefully, when I grow up now, please don't be animals that can eat me up here. Oh, no, it's just little, it's just little fellow chicks. Great, that's exactly what I want out of life. Alright, let's check my challenges really quick and see how many more flowers I have to eat. So it's four for the first one. Alright, hopefully as the chicken, I can, um, make it to, uh, where am I going? Shibuya Woods. Hopefully as the chicken, there we go. And am I a boss rank chicken? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and I've got mates available, but I am going to save the mating because I want to get this other challenge done, like... I know it's probably going to turn out to be sort of a bad idea to, um, to wait here, but I really do want to get all the challenges done here, so I'm going to just head right on by these mates so I can get to Shibuya Woods in time to find the chick boss. Luckily, I've played this game enough that I know where the boss is like to... Oh, and that's a... Look at that. It's a desperate-ass rooster anyway. Fuck that shit. Alright, so, what is this? What is- Ooh, it's- It's Beagle. Don't wanna fuck with his- Don't wanna fuck with that world over there, because Beagles- Dude, Beagles can take down, like, fucking- 
hyenas and like panthers in this game. Definitely not something that a chicken wants to be messing with. You know, it's good to be playing as a smaller animal again anyway. I've been kind of liking playing as... Okay, what animal is this? Another beagle! The fuck, beagle? Why you gotta- why you gotta do this to me, Beagle? Why you gotta be out here? Whatever. I've been liking playing as these smaller animals because I can do that tricky juke where when I've got really big animals on me, I can like, ditch them by going to the sewers or by going up on top of buildings, which... That's a strategy that when I first, uh, was playing this game many, many moons ago, like, probably episodes like 1 through 25, I didn't even realize that that was a good way to ditch enemies. And I feel like things have gotten so much better for me once I realized that that was, like, a good way to ditch enemies. Alright, so, I think the hardest, uh, the hardest challenge here... Oh, here's a flower. Alright, cool. I was about to say, the hardest challenge is going to be finding the flowers, because, um, there's a lot of RNG in finding, uh, in those challenges. Like, I think challenges like that are always a little bit unfair. Oh, but here's a flower. Okay, so who cares? And here's my reasoning. So, in case you don't know what the word RNG means, it's a... Word I actually stole from the speedrunning community, and uh, RNG means random number generator. It basically means that your odds for doing this thing are lessened because it's not always guaranteed. Like, uh, it, it basically just says that the way that this is done is with a random number generator, so you're not always guaranteed to um, get the results that you want. And so, yeah, um, with the flower challenges, because, like, okay, because with marking, uh, with marking, obviously, you know where all the marks are, so it's really not that hard to go around, you know, and find marks. And with, um, and with, like, killing challenges, you just have to go somewhere on the map where it says there's a lot of animals to kill, blah 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 blee 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 you know? But with, um... But with these types of challenges, it is definitely more of a question of uh, RNG. It's a random number generator because you're just kind of hoping that the game spawns enough food for you to rock and roll up with. Okay, should I go down and get all that food? Or... Dude, somebody once said in the comments to me, they were like, you should save the food. Oh no, you know what? I gotta make sure I get this challenge done. And the chicken's got plenty of hunger. But somebody once said in, in a comment section to me, they're like, Oh, Raktar, you should save the food for your next generation. And I think that is not correct. Because I think that when you sleep, there's a very strong chance, or when you change generations or sleep, there's a very strong chance that the food distribution will change. So technically, I'm not able to save the food for my next generation, because it might despawn, and new food will spawn in different places, and I don't know. Like I said, somebody once said that, I wasn't 100% sure if they were right, but I always... I always thought maybe that wasn't correct, just because, um... Okay, here's that chick boss. It's gonna try and run from me. You know what? I'm gonna kill it, just to be a dick. I'm gonna kill a little baby version of... Oh, see, it's, it's running from me, but guess what? I like how I'm a chicken, and I just fucking kill the baby chick. That is just wrong. That is just wrong, people. And that is all those first challenges. So where do I have to head for next? Oh, the burbs. Well, I mean, if, if the burbs is where I have to head, I might as well actually just start heading back the other direction to kind of pre-make up some ground. That is a strat. And now I can just go for all this food and try and get the sweet, sweet points because someday I really do. Where is this food at? Oh, it's all the way up there. Fuck that shit. Fuck that food. Thinks it's so hot, spawning way up high. I feel like someday, I really do intend on, um... What am I trying to say? Someday, I really do intend to do a thing. No, um, someday I really do intend on unlocking the Robo-Dog, and then possibly playing as the Robo-Dog once I've unlocked it. So, the more food I can get in these runs, like, once I've... Oh, don't want to go that way. Basically, like, once I've gotten... Dude, we can do a little... There we go. Do a little fall right there, save some time. But yeah, so like, if I can get extra food when I'm doing these, um... When I'm doing these runs to try and get high scores and unlock tuxedos and shit and try and get all the challenges, I should probably even be going for 
more food while I do so, just so I can, um... Just so I can be getting the points. So should I take the sewers to get to Shibuya suburbs? Because I feel like the sewers... And tell me if I'm wrong here. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. Would be a faster route than, um... Oh, you know what? You know why I'm not going to take the sewers? I'm going to go change generations. That's why. I'm going to go... I'm going to go change generations back in, um... Where did I sleep again? Oh, I'm going to go change generations down... Oh, oh no. 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 Okay, we can get away from these guys. This is not too challenging because my speed is a lot higher than theirs. Oh my gosh. While I was gone, I should have taken the sewers! <laughs> now, see, now I'm all sitting here like, oh, should have taken the freaking sewers. Right? Holy shit. It was, I have made mistakes, but like I said, my speed is higher than the hyena speed. Plus, I've got way more stamina for doing this than they do, so. Yeah, like I said. Dude, those hyenas, super easy to dodge, but seriously, back to what I was saying, those, that totally just, like, became freaking hyena territory in, like, the five minutes since I had left. That was, like, hyena territory central. Fuck. Alright, so what are my challenges for the next set of years? Five marks. One generation change. Okay, that's perfect, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll start marking, basically. I'm not going to mark up Dog and Zaka at all, but... Once... Okay. Is this still a beagle? Nope, it's a chicken now. So, yeah. Once this hits the 11 year mark, I'll hit one of these. And then I'll be on the way to getting all these challenges done. It's funny because playing as a smaller animal, what's interesting is that... Um, what am I trying to say? Playing as a smaller animal, it's interesting because... Uh, you can die, or because the challenges are so much easier than when you're playing as a big animal. All right, hopefully it respawns something better. Nope, it respawns something worse. Whatever. So yeah, um, it's funny because the challenges are so much easier, but it's also so much easier to die. So like, it's a really interesting trade-off. The fact that like you can do that. You know what I mean? But hopefully. When I come back here, hopefully that other mate, because after you've been gone for a while, mates respawn. You know what's interesting, though? Somebody said after you've been gone for a while, mates respawn, but I'm not sure if mates respawn after a while or if they, um, they just lose quality over time. You know what I mean? Like, maybe as time passes, a mate becomes, like, more desperate. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was a stupid sound I keep making. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, it's a dad is a chicken. Dad is ready to give me a huge pack of children. That is exactly what I want to see in life. But what I don't want to see in life is for those animals up on top of here to be deadly. Maybe they're still the chicks, but that beagle changed into other animals. Okay, now it's bunny wabbits. All right, guess what? Not forgetting to do the cool thing that you have to do. Put that sweet, sweet top knot on my head. Dude, the chicken looks silly with the top knot on. Alright, and give it a little matey-waity. Save yonder game. Alright, cool. And look at- I'm gonna have a million baby chicks now. Wait, oh shit. So you can just go ahead and ignore the fact that I accidentally hit save instead of, um... Instead of mate just now. I don't know why I did that. I even, like, stood there for a second. And I actually thought about hitting the right button. Like, dead serious. Like, I sat there for a second, and I was like, okay, I gotta hit the correct button here, otherwise I am fucked. Oh, shit. This did not, I think about. Oh, man. Getting to the suburbs is now going to be officially challenging. I wish I had a bed. Uh-huh, um, all right, take off the top knot. Dude, like, seriously, I did not even think about this, but luckily I can do this almost the whole way as long as I properly conserve my stamina. See, as long as I stop every time my stamina is just about to get all the way to the bottom, I can keep on doing that. Dude, see, now I'm rethinking... See, the chick strategies, man, with the baby chick strategies, you gotta have, like, different strats. Like, basically, I think you wanna make sure to have, like... To do, like, I should have, like, mated at Dog and Zaka. 
so I could have, um... So I could have grown up at Shibuya, um, parking lot or whatever at the first place. Shibuya Station. I was like, what is it called? Why can I not remember the name of the Shibuya area? Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Alright, cool. So yeah. Like, seriously, I was sitting there. I didn't even think about it. Like, your chick strategy... You need different chick strategies than other animals because... If you don't have different chick strategies... You will F yourself, alright, eating this one mushroom will get me 400, that'll get me a whole, yep, I was like, that will level me up, alright, so, basically right now, I can't eat too much, like, I can't focus on eating so much, because I really need to focus on, alright, so where's the next mark, alright, I really need to focus on getting to these four marks and sleeping so I grow up, or getting to these four marks and then just booking it to Shibuya suburbs, even though I'm a chick, because, um, like, if it comes down to it, and... Actually, growing up, man. See, this is why I was about to say, growing up is actually a really good job. Oh, but that terrier is afraid of me because I have six chicks! That's really funny, I was like, oh, dude. You know what's funny is, in real life, one... Oh, good, get the deer. Yeah, go after the deer, perfect. As I was saying, but I then decided to make some bodily noises, also known as sniffling and the like. Oh, dude, look, I keep on getting lucky. These other animals keep on going after other forest creatures. But, dude, I was like to say, okay, so I could probably take on these small animals as the baby chick. But what I was about to say is, in real life... Okay, can I... Oh, it's sleeping. Thank goodness. That is a bit of luck. Oh, shit. What are you running from, dear? You're scaring me. You're scaring me, dear. Oh, yeah, but what I was saying is... In real life, I think that, um, a terrier could totally take on... I know, I do have how many? One, two, three... Wait, oh man, I can't even... They're all in the bushes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? So there's eight, including me. Wow! But dude, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I think that one silky terrier could take on eight chicks. Like, don't... I'm not trying to, like, bomb on my sweet chick, baby chick army that I've got going right now. But I totally think that if I were to, like, in, if in real life I were to run into a Jack Russell Terrier and I were a baby chick with an army of baby chicks, um, I think I would get my ass kicked. Like, I gotta watch out for that fucking, look at the retriever over there, probably, he wants to kill me. That retriever, oh. And is that a, an African wild dog? I've started trying to, if you may have noticed in the last couple episodes, I've started trying to refer to them as African wild dogs instead of Lycaon. And my reason for that is because I was tired of, oh shit, did it see me? Sacrifice one. I will, I will happily sacrifice one baby chick. Except for I probably lost more just because that first swipe probably took a couple down. How many do I have? And how do I still have guys on me? Are those chicks from my crew? Okay, cool. He only got the one that I sacrificed. Super lucky. I am awful lucky because he only got the one that I sacrificed. Oh, please don't be. If there is animals that can hurt me at the nest, I'm going to be very unhappy. Because as you can see, there are animals there right now. Oh, no, it's it's fellow baby chicks. Do you like how I can't I can't help but say baby chicks? Because every time- because, like, here's the reason I keep on saying baby chicks. Sleep! I keep on saying baby chicks because, um... Like, when I think- when I say the word chicks, I feel like I'm talking about, like, women. And so I feel like if I say baby chicks, it's more like I'm talking about, like, little chicklets. Oh wait, no! Don't- I'm not gonna let that- what is this animal? What is this animal? Oh, it's a cat! Dude, I'm not gonna let this cat take out this- Oh, he totally- he already did! And I- now it's gonna kill me! Alright, get away! Fuck this cat. Fuck, sacrifice... a chicken. He killed the mate right off the bat before I even had a chance to save it. Fuck. That. Cat. Alright, I need my safety meter to go back down so I can... regain some health. See, this is why I got a pack of... a big pack of chickens here, people. Okay, cool. That- is that all my... Oh, mark five times. Shoot! I wasn't- I, th I forgot about that one. Alright, we gotta... Now, I'm in a little bit of a rush. But of course- oh, of course it, I had to get seen by 
a pack of liony ass cubs. Oh shit! Oh shit! And I'm not like way faster than than the lion cubs. Like I was way okay. Sacrificing a chicken, man. This is getting bad. I'm just like sacrificing every chicken. But I I just want to get this um. I want to get the all my challenges done before before time runs out. Here we go. And is, that's got to be the last one because I marked all four. Yep. Okay, there's all my challenges. Now I have to make it back past these lion cubs. I'll be a little more sneaky though, now that I'm not pressed for time and that I know they're there. Alright. Um... Find Shibuya Station parking lot. Eat a mushrooms and change generations two times. Okie dokie game. Well that's... dude, those are not, um... Those are not challenging... Alright, so here's what we gotta do. We're gonna head this way. I'm gonna get... Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit, get- sacrifice a chicken. Okay. Did you like those little strats to like get around there? Eat this. Okay, cool. And now I'm boss rank. Man, there are just so many animals out to get me, but su such is the nature of the Tokyo jungle. There's always like fucking 20 million animals who want to wreck your shit. Alright. And I just heard- I just heard those ti- um, those tiger cubs call help. That is bad. Because that means they could be like calling on full s or lion cubs. There are no tiger cubs in this game. What the fuck am I saying? Lion cubs. But it's okay. So now I'm back here. Oh, a new mate spawned. And hopefully will not instantly be killed by some jerk ass cat. Hopefully this mate will be. I'll just luck out and it'll be prime. Alright, what kind of mate are you? Oh. Desperate as fuck. Alright, not happening. Not happening, girlfriend. I didn't get boss rank just so I can stoop down to the level of some desperate ass mate. You've been told, girl. Plus, oh crap. Oh, now the food's... I think I accidentally took one bite of it after it became poisonous. That is bad. What are these? Oh. Dams of golden retrievers. Let's get real sneaky-like. Get past this way. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, but there's more golden retrievers. Oh, shiznoot. All right. Don't turn around. Dude, if that golden retriever turns around right- Oh, dude. Oh, but the Pomeranian's scared of me. Dude, I'm gonna- Oh, shit. Dude, I want to kick the Pomeranian's ass. Just to show it who's the king of the jungle. Dude, I'm chicken. Nature's killing machine. As you know, nature's killing machine has changed many times throughout the course of this series, and now it's chicken. All right. Please- Please, please, be a good mate. At least average. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, fuck, why did I do that? Alright, we gotta- we gotta use all my powers of evasion right now to, um... Oh, oh my gosh. I gotta- do I have some stam jerky? I gotta have- okay. Plus, I'm at critical toxicity. Holy shit, I'm in a bad place, All right? Use that. Use my stam jerky. Okay, here's what- here's what- we got this now. We have got this. As long as I can keep me and my mate alive, and not let those golden retrievers see me. Oh, fuck. Man, I am just being spotted by everything right now. This is so bad. Dude, but this Sam Jerky is taking me far in life. Oh, and that's a worse animal than the golden retrievers. Dude, every animal right now is ruining my strategies. I have this awesome mate. All I want to do, I gotta lose these golden retrievers before I can, um, mate, too. Am I still... We're gonna use that medicine. Ooh, and... Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Alright. Alright, let's get all sneaky now. Hopefully nothing sees me going around this route. Okay. Okay. Dude, I've got this. I've got this in the bag. Whatever is sleeping here, I'm gonna kill it. Just in case it's something that wants my peen. I don't care what you are, a cat. Oh, but I didn't kill it because I can't kill cats in one hit. Oh, this is bad. Sacrifice a fucking chicken. I'm about to get a huge pack. I don't even care about sacrificing a chicken because I'm about to get a gigantic pack of chickens. All right, items. Gonna put the top knot on, except they're gonna be baby chicks again, so damn, girl. This is gonna be rough. All right, well, anyways, actually, I'm going to end this episode right here. In the next episode, I will be continuing... Wait, did I put the top knot on just now or not? I just can't see it very well because it's on a chicken, I guess. 
Yeah, it's on. Right. In the next episode, I will be continuing Rakdar's chickeny ass adventures. So yeah, this has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.